are you getting? I mean, it's been whatever, five, six months now. How antsy are you getting? You see everybody practicing now. Yeah, I'm always antsy this time of year, honestly, just to finally get back with all the guys um, today, finally seeing the guys practice against each other. Um, it's always an exciting time. You can really kind of start to turn up the competition a little bit, have some fun. And uh, so I think everyone everyone's excited for it. Marty, do you have to be careful not to push it uh, because everybody's out there and you're not cleared yet? For sure. You, I mean, anytime you're rehabbing from any sort of injury, you got to be careful. You know, there's days you feel great and you want to push it more, and there's days um, it's a little sore, it's a little tired, whatever. Um, but yeah, it's just part of the process of coming back from an injury. You know, you just got to trust what the trainers are saying, what the doctors are saying, um, and again, just keep being smart with it. Do you think when you were in college, you were hurt as the established start, knowing that when you, you know, whenever you got healed, you would come back? Has this been different at all? Is, is, is there anything different about what you're going through now versus what you went through before? Um, I mean, it's, it's a little different in the fact that I came back the same year. Um, in college when I was hurt as a senior. I came back and played in the national championship game. Um, so a little different, but at the same time, you know, I've, I've learned you know, how, to, how to go through these times, how to handle it. Um, it's never fun. I've never obviously had an injury of this magnitude, uh, this type of timetable for return and everything. But um, you learn a lot in, in just those little injury moments as well. So uh, again, I just feel, I feel confident with it and, and everything. Like, like what? what do you learn? I mean, personally, you learn a lot. You know, you learn a lot about, um, you know, I, I learn a lot about my faith. I learn a lot about just how uh, God's working through these things. And um, it's not always easy. You know, I know I've talked a lot about it. But um, I think on a personal level, you know, when you're injured is, is really when you find, you know, the type of man, the type of character that you're made of. Carson, uh, you won't be involved, obviously, in practice in terms of, of throwing, et cetera. But will you be in uh, the offense as, as, as things are going on with Nick there? Will you be? watch yeah. and, and I mean, take metal reps. You guys will be out there today, so you'll see. I mean, I'll be involved in a handful of things. Um, there'll be things I'm not I'm not fully cleared to do everything yet, but I'll be involved when, when I can and, and, and things that I can be. But uh, again, you'll you'll kind of get to see that today as we go. Have you had moments of, of, of big progress? Are there, are there days where you're like, I really had a big breakthrough? Or is it kind of really incremental? Yeah, I mean, it's there's there's some of those things. And in the big picture, they might be small, but they're, again, kind of the, more of those inner incremental uh, type of things with the progress and everything, and um, you just kind of get a, get a little bit, get a, do a little bit more each day. And um, you know, it's not always like this. There's days where you're, you're sore, you're tired. Um, it's all part of it, though. Doug Nathaniel stopped by his office, uh, kind of uh, every few days or whatever. How much time have you spent thinking of kind of tweaks on the offense, and what have those conversations been? They're always great. You know, those conversations are always great. You know, coach, coach does a tremendous job of just being open to ideas, open to uh, new things, and you know, and he comes to me with things too sometimes. So, um, you know, I think that was kind of documented last year, just our open lines of communication, our relationship that we have, and um, his door's always open for for anybody. And um, yeah, I'll jump in there every now and then. Coach's been talking about how the motivate. You know, sometimes there's a, a lull after a Super Bowl win. But that with this team, there are so many guys that didn't get to play in that final game that you guys are going to fuel on everyone else. Can, can you speak to that You know, as the perfect yeah. example? Yeah, I mean, obviously with injured guys, guys that didn't get a chance to play in that game, um, there's an extra sense of motivation, You know, an extra sense of not letting everybody be complacent. On the flip side of that, I know the leaders that we have. You know, I know the guys in that locker room, the character of that locker room, where I don't expect it to be an issue regardless. You know, I think um, anytime we have the veteran leadership that we have, that's not really a concern of mine or really the rest of the guys because nobody's going to ever settle for anything around here. Um, but again, I don't think it hurts that we have those other guys like myself that are coming back um, with a little chip on their shoulder, you know, a little extra motivation to get back there. When you look back on the improvement you guys made last year, Carson, in the red zone and on third down, I mean, there's a lot of reasons for that, obviously. But when you look at it, when you look at the film, what are the most important reasons for that improvement? You know, I think there's a lot of things that go into that, that improvement in third down, red zone, all of that. Um, a, we emphasized it a lot, um, even going back to OTAs last year. You know, we worked on it a ton. Uh, we spent extra time in the film room, you know, just analyzing what we did. Um, then we really emphasized this last year, putting the right guys in the right spots. You know, bringing in a guy like Alshon, getting Zach Ertz more um, involved in the right positions, getting Nelson Aguilar in the slot where, uh, you know, he made a, a huge difference in there. And um, just the rest of the piece is just getting guys in the right spots, I think, was a huge part of our success, especially in the red zone. You, you mentioned a couple of weeks, or several weeks ago, uh, that Zach's almost impossible to cover in the red zone. Um, 
why, I mean, what makes him so difficult? I think with him, you know, especially where we're at in our relationship, you know, on the field, just our chemistry, um, our timing and everything is just is really dialed in. Um, so I think anytime that's that's dialed in, that's hard enough to defend. But a guy the size that he has, um, his ability to go up and get a ball and just the way he plays uh, with leverage and runs, you know, I think as good a routes as anybody in the league. Uh, I just think that makes for a tough matchup. Carson, over the last few months, and then as we're going to training camp, you, you won't be involved in many ways as, as the starting quarterback. But are there little things that you're doing to, to in terms of leadership and also letting the rest of the guys know that you're, you're still the guy? Um, yeah, I mean, anytime you're injured, you know, and I'm not the only one doing this. I mean, Hicks is doing Amerigos, you know, guys that are J Jason Peters, everyone's still involved. And I think that's um, sometimes a fear is that guys might just isolate themselves and just handle their re rehab, their recovery. Um, and I don't think that's really the case with, with most of us. You know, I think we're all, uh, we want to be involved. You know, we're all chomping at the bit to get out there. We might be limited to some respect. But, um, yeah, leadership stuff, all of those kind of aspects of it, uh, we're, we're involved as much as we can. Do you feel like you have to do that because of the importance of that position? I mean, I just think that's kind of who I am. That's kind of how I'm made up. And so uh, none of it's really forced. It just kind of naturally happens as we go. As far as Dallas Goddard, what kind of interest have you taken in him considering the agency, the same conference, but not? Yeah, I mean, obviously. I'm interested in him, A, as just an offensive weapon. You know, anytime we bring in a guy like that, um, an early pick as he was, um, I got to see him in college, uh, unfortunately, beat up on the Bison a couple of times. So uh, I know he's a heck of a player, heck of a talent. Um, obviously, like you said, sharing the same agent. I know a little bit about him as well. But uh, it'll be fun to see him out here in OTA, see how he picks up everything, the, the speed of the game and, and everything, and then just see where we can mix him in um, within our packages and everything. Is made about the physical part of your your rehab, but from a mental aspect, what kind of progress have you made as far as you know the movement that you can do with the brace on and just kind of understanding your limitations? Yeah, the mental aspect is probably just as important as the physical. I think when you're coming back from these injuries, I'm uh, just learning how to trust it. You know, learning how to trust your knee, trust your movement, all of those things, and uh, that comes that comes over time. I mean, every day is. Uh, it just gets a little better and a little more trust, a little more faith in it. And um, at the same time, you got to be smart. You, know, you got to be smart with what the doctors are saying. But um, I, f I feel like I've made made really good strides, both mentally and physically. And I, I like where I'm at. Have you leaned on anybody, Carson, uh, that's gone through something like this before? In um, not really. You know, not really. Um, just the guys around me. You know, and the other thing is just the guys that are in the lock or in the rehab room this whole off season. We've had to be around here. Hicks, Marigos, Jason Peters, Sproles has been around. Um, you know, we're kind of all just rehabbing together, so it's kind of a, a good little uh, group that we have going in there. So I think we've all kind of leaned on each other. Have you, have you compared yourself at all to other quarterbacks, like Ryan Tannehill, for instance, is back in, you know, with the Dolphins yep. now practicing? He got hurt similar injury four months before you. Have you taken a look at that and seen like lining up timelines and things like that? Not really. Not really. I don't really. A, I don't really like to play the comparison game, and B, I think we're all just kind of every injury is a little different, everybody's recovery is a little different, um, and I just really focus on what the doctors are telling me and, and my recovery. Do you, you ever find yourself just looking at the calendar at four months, three months, and kind of cheating that way? I mean, you do sometimes, but at the end of the day, um, you can't get caught up in that. Even when you are healthy, you know, it's it's too easy to look ahead and okay, week one you got that circle or whatever. But um, I think it's. It's always just a one-day-at-a-time mentality and approach, and especially now, i got to avoid getting ahead of myself with that stuff. You continue your rehab. How smooth is the transition now with Frank moving on, Mike Kidd with the coaches off the field, a lot of guys just shuffling positions? It's been great. You know, it's been great. Obviously, losing Frank, Coach Filippo, uh, big losses, you know, especially personally. Very, very close with both of those guys. Um, but Coach Grove has been rock solid. Um, last year, he was, he was awesome. So far, he seems awesome. I think everyone's excited to see um, kind of him take the more of that leadership role. And then Press Taylor uh, now as our quarterback coach. I think, you know, us four quarterbacks, A, we, we love working with him. He's a great guy. Um, very smart football mind as well. So uh, it's been a very smooth process, I think, so far. Carson, Will you uh, go to the White House? Um, so obviously, it's been kind of leaked out there that we will be um, going. Um, the details aren't fully um, available yet, so we're not sure. I know for me personally, if the team uh, decides that as a whole, most guys want to go or be a part of it, I will be attending with them. You know, I think it's just a cool way to um, just receive the honor um, kind of nationally 
uh, and be recognized. I don't personally view it. I know a lot. some people do. Everyone has their own opinion on it. I don't view it as a political thing whatsoever. I don't really mess with politics very often. But um, yeah, I think I, w I will be involved in going in that. Um, again, the, the rest of the details will be coming out soon. As, as far as playing with the boys, how does that affect you and, and have you done research on that? Yeah, so I, I mean, I've looked into it a little bit. Um, so far, it seems fine. Um, again, I'm still limited to some respect as far as what I can do. So the brace is something that um, I never want to use it as a crutch um, by any means, but um, just to, to feel a little more protected, to, to make sure the doctors feel a little safer within everything. Um, but it's something I'm just now really getting used to. So we'll kind of just stay posted on that one, I guess. Uh, we'll see. Again, it's a fluid thing, just like everything else. Thanks, guys.